Oh boy, I really do hope everyone out there listening is doing well, despite these very unpredictable days. I really do like to believe when things seem unsettling or bad, we can remember to stop and be thankful for any good in our lives. And you know, honestly, we can always find something to be thankful for. So welcome to my very first podcast. I felt compelled to do this show for many reasons. Yeah, I've always liked to help people physically, monetarily, spiritually, whatever the situation would call for, and whatever I could give at the time. Whether it's through writing, talking, art, music, giving advice, cooking, or simply listening, I've always felt like a giver. For example, I've made thousands of awesome meals and loved it for family and friends over the years, and that's always kind of been a way for me to pay back favors or show real love. I was recently encouraged by a few friends to start this podcast. They thought I might perhaps have a different take on worldly events and could possibly add or offer the weary some much-needed positive thoughts every now and then. I chose the Velvet Hammer as a name for my show because I feel it's a good representation of my personality and my overall philosophy. I like to consider myself a beautiful, kind, loving, gracious soul, However, people would be making a very grave mistake if they ever take my warmth and kindness for weakness. Without a doubt, the metaphysical hammer has and will be used whenever necessary. When our country was first formed, don't tread on me was adopted for a specific reason, and it had an important impact. It let all the enemies know we were a force to be reckoned with. Well, I take that to heart. And so I do not bow down to any man or woman. I will not comply with the 1984 mentality. However, I will always be the one in the room to call out injustice or stupid, dumb bullshit. And I will also be happy to embrace the attitudes of my favorite comedians, George Carlin and Ricky Gervais, who in one way or another like to say, I don't give a rat's ass. Now, that may seem heartless to some. However, I justify my statement as I always do try to be fair, not vicious. Truth hurts some people, yeah. Some easily get their feelings hurt, but I feel it's better to call out lies, excuses, or injustice, because doing nothing, letting folks get away with crap, that's dishonest and it's a disservice to folks. Just like being passive aggressive, and for those of you who don't know the meaning of the term, Well, it basically means you act really nice in front of people so they'll think you're cool, and then you diss them like a hater behind their backs. Well, I don't play that game. Some may call it tough love, but if you can't handle it, you're too sensitive, maybe you better go get your pacifier, your blanky thing, and take a nice nap. Move along, move along, as BCP likes to say. And here's why. Because right now, these days, the so-called woke are actually unconscious, ignorant folks who are fast asleep, and liberals, who are not liberal in any sense, act like dictators who say they want unity unless you happen to disagree with their lunacy, then they'll feel justified enough to knock your teeth out, or worse, if you don't comply. But true Americans, patriots, we never, ever surrender to bullies, liars, tyrants, or any insane cause or individual. So with that said, I want to go over some of my ideas and intentions and um, also to provide some optimism by posting and presenting inspiring quotes, stories, music, you know, a joke now and then, uh, videos, animation, and art. And I also plan on being interactive with you, the audience, I have several topics I'd really like to introduce, and I think part of the fun will be discussing and replying to your comments and or suggestions. Reaching out to people one at a time through various art forms can be really amazing. Just as spending lots of time cooking healthy, great-tasting organic foods and gardening is another of my passions. I enjoy making soups, casseroles, desserts, using ingredients from my garden when possible. And then I like to share with family and friends. I mean, truly, there's so many ways to help, support, share, show love, and respect for people. 
this podcast and blog will hopefully be the next step. And I want to try to be of service. I believe I can offer uplifting advice or provide soothing, calming words that may inspire people into being more proactive in their lives. I like trying to be of help by passing on suggestions proven to have worked for me and several people I know. I will always try to leave all I meet better off from having an encounter and will leave them with some good thoughts. I don't ever want to sound like a know-it-all or like a pompous preacher, so I found writing, talking, or singing, playing music to be other vehicles for connecting to those who are wanting or willing to hear what I have to say or to sing about, all in order of trying to do my best in helping awake the masses. I really did want to start this podcast during these difficult times due to the immense amount of censorship, unrest, and general insanity. Basically, these are upside-down times. So I thought perhaps I could be a voice of hope, <laughs> reason, and some source of sanity. I've always liked to offer a positive spin when I could. It's just my nature, you know, see the silver lining whenever possible. It's been my experience as I've watched quite a few online hosts that some tend to speak a lot of doom and gloom. And although sometimes we may need to hear negative things, they can actually be quite useful sometimes or an educational or a type of information can help to get us prepared for something. But I've always felt really uncomfortable, frustrated, mad, or even sad when I hear some of them. I feel they owe their audience some type of solution, resolution, or positive words of resolve before simply signing off. I see that as a very cavalier attitude, and I don't think it's cool to leave people upset, stressed, or scared, and then just say at the end of their podcast, uh, okay, bye now. Basically, you go figure it out yourself. In my mind, that could be very dangerous. Some people are not strong enough to have or have the tools to keep taking in negative news without it having a direct negative effect on them. And it could also be the last straw for some people. So for me, my part, I will always make it my personal mission to absolutely always leave you with some great words to ponder, think about, something funny, and hopefully put a smile on your face. I think these can be really wonderful times to reach out, offer love and support, and we can all help each other in so many ways. So as I said before, my main focus will be on positive things like uplifting cool music, artwork, quotes of the day, a joke or two, as well as various dialogues and featured guests, as well as featured uh, guest musicians. Occasionally, I'll put up some of my favorite great tasting organic recipes. They're affordable. And I think it's really important to share these kinds of things. I can show you how simple and cost-effective eating well can actually be. Plus, eventually, we might be adding things like uh, topic of the day, topic of the week, or uh, craziest crap of the week segment. Although these days, that could take up the whole show all by itself, as I'm sure you can imagine. I'd like to encourage everyone to feel free to comment and make suggestions, and I'd love to go live at some point, but for now, I'm simply doing this podcast, then we'll see what happens. I'd like to take a few minutes now to pass on some of the shows I watch. I find them inspiring and value them for diverse information and different presentations. They're all very good sources of current news, events, and even some comic relief. For example, number one, quite frankly, he does a pretty long show several nights a week, He's very informative, funny, and topical. I really find Frank's New York sardonic wit most captivating. He also has interesting guests from time to time. He takes calls live on air, as well as chats. Great way of interacting with texts from online viewers. X22, Dave does two shows often, six days a week, plus an interview called Spotlight that features important topical guests. His daily show breaks down numerous current news sources relating to financial and geopolitical issues. Really good show. Uh, number three is Salty Cracker. Now, he's a whole nother ball game. <laughs> I love his unbiased, non-politically correct attitude on all things topical and trending on social media. He curses like an effing sailor, so if that bothers you, well, he may not be for you. But he's silly and funny and right on the mark. Now the next person is Amazing Polly, and she's about the exact opposite of Salty. 
but she's best at researching incredible information and great at finding all the connections and dirt on so many things hidden from the public. Then number five, we have Woke Societies, another great news source, patriot, conservative with an attitude, but a heart of gold, topical as well as optimistic, and also then we have BCP, he'd be number six, black conservative patriot, discusses daily news and politics, also very informative and a truly loyal patriot. And number seven is gonna be Santa Surfing or Beach Broadcasting. She's in her own category, super upbeat all the time, full of hope. She discusses news and social media, posts as well, um, has a very big following, and like the others, um, she posts almost daily. So um, I'll leave all those links below for you, and uh, I'll be adding to this list on various other shows Maybe these people can bring you some new information. Uh, they are more people worth listening to and to get the truth from. Also remember to ditch Twitter. Gab is an excellent platform with no censorship and millions of loyal patriots. I greatly encourage everyone to get off all censored sites. Get off the tube and check out Rumble, Pill.net, Foxhole, BitChute, Odyssey, and many other great platforms. And please... Quit watching all mainstream media, please. And check out trustworthy news sources like OAN, RSBN, or NTD. You can also do your own research or ask friends and family for multiple references. As I said, I'll leave all these links here in the thread. So just remember, okay, we don't need no stinking badges and we do not accept being censored. We have our own platforms and I think it's important right now to pass on as much good information and resources as possible. They say, go woke, go broke. And remember, the best form of peaceful protest is to boycott, boycott, boycott. We have power and solidarity. And boycotting businesses that undermine our freedoms, they'd go broke and out of business within a month or two. Quit buying their products or attending their events. And definitely quit listening to lunatics. We can always turn things around, focus on good instead, focus on what we can do, not on what we can't do. It's a choice, yeah? That's why it's so empower empowering and powerful, and why I like to share uplifting quotes, old sayings, mantras, things I have personally found to be quite inspiring. It's been my experience. A quick mantra or positive statement can easily be very powerful in the most trying, stressful, difficult situations. And you can even train yourself to remember just a few quick words or even possibly life-saving words. They do have the power to turn your focus on their meaning, which can often give you the ability to be proactive rather than reactive and encourage you to stop and think for a minute. So the first statement I'd like to share is, it's not what happens but how you handle it. Now think about that. Everything that happens requires a decision or choice and how you decide to resolve things. You can choose to be reactive again or proactive. You can ask yourself also, hmm, how can I solve this dilemma in a positive way? And what can I possibly learn from the situation? I found the second statement can be truly helpful when you're in doubt or when you don't know what to do. You can always say this to yourself. Only good comes to me, only good goes from me. Whenever you feel you don't deserve wonderful things, you can easily say this to yourself. Also, if you feel unable or unwilling to be kind or nice for some injustice you feel you've suffered, well, you know what? We've all probably been there and done that before. So remembering this statement, it can do wonders and it gets you right out of victim mentality. We can always choose to be right or to be kind. Not always easy, that's for sure. Taking the time to say or reflect on these types of mantras or messages can also be extremely helpful when you're down, frustrated, angry, or fearful. Your mind can only hold one thought at a time, so you can always end any negative self-talk with positive talk. You can always write down or think of hundreds of things to be grateful and thankful for. It absolutely changes your mental and spiritual vibration to a higher place or frequency that allows for blessings. Random acts of kindness, wow, 
that's a great way to bless both the giver and receiver. And there's so many ways to help. Doing an errand for someone, checking on a neighbor, as well as donating food, money, time, clothing. They're all good ways to give. And the list goes on and on. Try to find something beautiful in every soul you meet. Ooh, that can be a tough one. But you can try it. Challenge yourself. It can make you feel quite wonderful. And if you can't do that much, simply spend some time sending out blessings and prayers for everyone in the whole world, even the so-called haters, ones you may judge bothersome or even evil. Send them a ton of love, and maybe one day their hearts will open up and grow, just like the Grinch. Remember that? His heart grew three times its size. Hey, it can't hurt. It's incredibly easy to love sweet, loving people. Not so easy to love those we judge or view as wicked or evil. But I learned a great way to think about this. We can absolutely love every single soul. However, that doesn't mean we approve or condone their behavior. A few months ago, I wanted to do something to be of service, so I joined a Pay It Forward group. And believe me, on any given day, I can find multiple people asking for help in numerous ways, so I don't put any pressure on myself. I simply do what I can, when I can, because I know what you give out, you get back tenfold. So choose wisely, my friends. It's really quite simple. And you know, I'm sharing these things with you, my audience, to be helpful as examples, not to brag or pat myself on the back. I've just found that trying to be kind and helpful as much as I can is a true blessing, as well as the balancing act of taking great care of myself, family, and friends. Basically, I believe we're all doing the best we can. We're all still learning from each other. And we can try to live with integrity by doing our best each day with what we have been given. We do the best we can. Well, so I'm about to sign off here in a few minutes and just wanted you to know the intro music as well as the upcoming outro music, our original songs I wrote. The intro song is called Every Day. It's about finding positive and knowing it's all up to each one of us to make life good. And the song you'll hear on the way out in a few minutes is called Love is All That Matters, which explains how love is all there is. Find a way to include all. No exceptions. Again, love all, yet you do not have to condone bad behavior. Both of these songs are on my... Uh, group CD, Sugar Plum the Band, and they're off of our CD Dreams that we released back in the May of 2019. And just like this podcast, I started writing songs to inspire people with positive messages. I've had amazing responses all my life playing solo or with my band at numerous venues throughout California over the years. As mentioned, I've always felt the need to spread words of hope and inspiration, and music really is a great way to share uplifting ideas with people of all ages, races, genders, whether it be with friends, fans, or complete strangers by performing in person or online, we have a connection. I've provided links below if you're interested in hearing more songs from our CD, Dreams. All of the artwork, videos, and photos were done by me, Cinzi. If you want to see more original artwork, click on the links below. It's all available online, plus lots of merchandise at both our websites. A $10 donation gets you a free Dream CD download. Um, I will eventually have merchandise at the VelvetHammer.com website as well if there is a demand for that. I really look forward to growing my audience, so please feel free to leave a message, like, forward, and or subscribe below. Send messages to the Velvet Hammer with Cinzy.com. I'll get to any and all comments just as soon as I can. Till then, I'd like to leave you with a cute little story I heard the other day, and I hope it puts a smile on your face. So there was this old guy sitting on his porch, and one day this dog comes along, and the old gentleman opens the door to walk into his house, and the dog walks briskly past him, looks around, then heads right to the couch. The dog jumps up, lays down, and takes a nap. About an hour later, that dog wakes up from his nap, looks at the old guy as if to say, thank you, then he leaves. So this goes on for quite a few days, and when the dog shows up again, the old guy finally looks at the dog's collar. He figures, hmm, this dog, he must come from a good home because he's healthy, well-groomed, and even has a license. So he decides to attach a note to the collar. It reads, 
Your dog comes here every single day to take a nap. Well, the next day when the dog shows up, the guy notices there's a different note attached to the collar. It reads, We have six kids, all under the age of ten. Can I please come with him tomorrow? Well, I hope you enjoyed the show, the first show, and I encourage you to come back for the next one. Through God's grace, may we all receive tremendous love and daily blessings. And I'm wishing each and every one of you much love and light. Cheers. Let's love everybody